what is up everybody welcome back to my channel today we are here uh, like julian for the next in the i guess we're gonna call it the show off showdown where I am testing out different speeds of discs. And last one was the distance drivers. This one is gonna be the fairway drivers. Everything from the slowest and the least far, probably an Eagle or a Captain's Raptor, all the way up to my fastest fairways, which also made a debut in the distance driver one. And those are the PDs and the Spice. So things that are kind of, you can't quite stretch a mid-range out to it, or if you can, it's gonna be pretty tough. It's gonna be very difficult, but it still gives you more control while giving you distance than if you threw a distance driver. So, fairway or control drivers. This, this is gonna be a lot of throwing. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with some backhands, then throw on some forehands and kind of intersplice everything together. Hopefully the camera battery lasts and we get to see all the shots. Let's start throwing. So we are starting out with backhand we'll kind of alternate backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, similar to the distance driver video, but we are worried about the camera running out of battery. So we're gonna start with the shots that everybody wants to see first. Like what is your distance throw with that disc? And then we'll move down to more of the shot shapes that you might necessarily use that disc for. So for some of these, their distance line is gonna be about the same as their hyzer line. And then for some of these, if you don't start them on hyzer, they're never going to do the distance. But if you start them on and hyzer, they might turn into a roller. So that's, that's something that could be fun. But we have the wide open 18 right here. We're gonna throw these on backhand and just kind of their distance line potential. We are gonna start off slow though. So we're gonna start with the slowest of all of my fairway drivers. I don't have any six speeds. I have seven speeds. What do I have for seven speeds? Well, first of all, we have a Clash Millet. Uh, this kind of goes really far, like kind of sneaky far. Wouldn't think it, but it kind of does. Oh man, it's all faded. That was gonna be over 400. The slightly more stable counterpart that I have is this beat up Star Eagle, the Weeping Eagle. I use it for those shots, but on pull holes and courses that I trust that I can you know, get my disc back. So the millet is the placeholder for when I go out of state and play other courses or some tournaments where you might lose your, your flippy fair line. Slightly up in the stability levels, we have the rhythm. This is Neutron and this is Proton. We're gonna start with the Neutron. This one's very flat on top. That's amazing. And then the Proton, which is definitely domier, but it's Proton Soft. It's still a tiny bit more stable than the Neutron. Kind of got that one burned over a little bit. You go up a tiny bit faster, but the same type of stability. This is a Lux Vapor Essence, and this is a Meta Essence. Go with the Meta first. Okay, I need more height. And then the 
Starbucks paper. back down to the seven speeds, but this time they're a little bit more stable, the flippiest of which is, of course, the Millennium Vela. There we go. That's the flight without the seat. The most stable is the Star Eagle. perfect skip. Another flippier eagle. This is a G-Star one. Kind of bomb, so if you get it on the right angle. Oh yeah. The dummy part that you're going to have. It's the flat top bar is the eagle that I have. Almost made it over the grass. And then the other two seven speeds that are fun to play around with that I still haven't figured out if I'm gonna bang or not. Royal Rage 2, this is a Vapor Instinct. And the Rage Doe, which is a Vapor FD1. Slightly straighter, slightly more stable. Let's go with the more stable. Rage down. Oh, I hit the pole. Yep, I definitely hit that pole. <laughs> and be slightly straighter and also slightly flatter, but also weirdly more glidey. Stable options. First, with the Sex and Firebird, but then the Halo Color Glow Champion Blend. This is the ESP Captain Tractor. I might have over on those, but it also just be the tail crosswind coming from that This is the spice. And some of these I'm not gonna definitely not gonna throw over again because yeah some of these are still stable. <laughs> pretty stable, pretty deep. And then the two kitties out of my bag starting with last how and that is why that is if I need like a 380 foot Heiser no pull this disc out it's kind of all it does it's kind of all it's good at but it does it really really well versus you can almost turn this a flippy PB at this point. It is basically a beast from end of a, like a season. time in the black arrow is 395 feet off the front of the ski pad. So I'm getting distance that I wasn't getting before and something is clicking. I think it's my timing and hopefully that this is still clicking when I go up and I'm playing this hard courses up north. Similar to the distance drivers though, we are going to be doing four hands off of the ski pad and go through a back hands off of 18. Starting off with the what are technically the slowest but also kind of flippy this is a clash millet and i'm growing to absolutely love this disc mm -hmm. 
and its old faithful reliable counterpart, the Star Eagle. Yep, I'm gonna have to clean that one. I kinda burned it. Slide step up in stability. We've got these are both methods, one is meta and one is Lux Vapor, and then these are both rhythms. Uh, one is Neutron and one is Proton Soft. And then we're going to get through uh, the Essence first, Meta. Flips up to be a really straight disc. Also, this is the first time I've thrown this specific disc. I just found it unique. Got a way more nose down. Now let's go neutron ribbon. A tiny bit flippier in the essences, but still not quite as flippy as the millet. And this one, which flies like a dream if I can hit it right. We are staying in seven speeds for a while, folks. You may notice I don't really have any six speeds because the rhythm is the smallest rim disc that I would even think about bagging in a fairway slot. And the pyro is the biggest one that I bag in a mid-range slot. Six speeds just don't quite fit my hand. Let's run through a couple of these. We have basically a champion. Flat top eagle, but it's a Vela, so it's a little bit flippier. Flipping up to be really flat, very similar to the Essence, but just a tiny bit more fade. Then we have G Star Eagle X. that are fun that I keep around because they're fun not necessarily because I would necessarily bag either one of these but the Royal Rage 2 and the Rage Stone this is a Lux Vapor Instinct and this is a Lux Vapor FD1 faster control drivers. This beautiful dive feeding. Not what I'm left to do, but that's alright. Still, still bombs. Lone howl, or sorry, last howl. A little more stable, but still just on top of fast. We got a Halo Color Glow. Discraft Captain Crafter. And Flash Disc. Steady Ring Spice. Woo! Big skips. Alright, now I'm gonna throw them all again on the like flatter distance pushing forehands because it's going to be more flex lines and some of these flippier discs don't necessarily like the flex so not all these will be the same forehands again and also that cuts down on the editing and watch time just a little bit because that last video was a touch long all right so there are still a couple discs that i want to compare against each other 
those are the rhythms versus the essences. Uh, I also want to throw the millet and the, and the eagle, the flippy eagle once more. I want to throw, let me start with what I know on that I want to throw and then we'll figure out if I want to throw anything else. A couple of the ones in the last throws though did reach 400. That was the flippy eagle and the neutron rhythm both crested 400. Oh, and the PD. The flippy PD also crested 400. It should be noted we have a tailwind today and the distance driver video had a headwind. So I'm throwing the fairway drivers today almost as far as I was throwing the distance drivers, but the wind is swapped. So let me go ahead. We're going to go essence, essence, and then rhythm, rhythm. Just start it off with it. Meta Essence first, the one that has served me for quite a quite a number of days. And I can actually get a, the right hit on this disc and not straighten it down. That's over four. Let's see what we can get with the Lux Vapor one. Blocking it through it. So this one I seem to have a better hold of where it's going. It's gone over 400. Uh, okay. And I wanted to see. Just wanted to watch the equal slide, you know? for how high you can throw that. That's really good to know. Millet is the same thing, but even glidier, but it's also probably will come out a little bit lower, slightly more rounded rim. So it just comes out earlier in the throw. And that faded behind the 395 pole. Yeah. Yeah, the millet's amazing and the, and the eagle, like, you're starting to see the end of your days because you're really good with that millet. There's something to that millet. I love that millet disc. And this kind of flies like the PD, just a little bit shorter. But if I can ever Versus my flippy PD. Flip up to about flat. Dive in, but like 30, 40, 50 feet further. Do you want to know? I get this on a turnover line. Say like tree height. How fast do you think it'll come out and how far do you think it'll go? This time with the G-Star Eagle. a lot of fun. Um, for consistency's sake, I want to try something that I didn't even do in the other video. I want to try to collect four hands with a black towel between those uprights. It's going to be a mash. I'm going to have to throw it as hard as I can. But with 
with this tail crosswind, there's a chance it'll swing it up. Not enough air or too much angle. Okay. Something that'll fight out just a little bit faster. Let's try the captain. too much angle. Alright, second turn for the forehands. Like I said, not all these are going to be thrown a second time on forehand. Some of them I want to throw again to see because I didn't get a good rip on the foot the first time and some of them, let's not throw them on hyzer. Let's see what they do if you kind of pop them a little bit flatter or maybe touch them on hyzer. So, some of those discs are I didn't get a good rip with this essence I want to throw the other essence, but also the millet. Let's go with the green essence first. Okay, just a little bit too much grip, I think. Versus this essence. Similar shape flight, but one of those kind of was on the line it was intended to be on and then just flipped over there instead of the other one that kind of got driven over. Uh, I'm excited for the backhand with those two though. Millet time. See if we can reach the basket right here. Okay, so it is possible to overcook a millet. Overstable discs speed in to be flippy are better than understable discs because nine times out of ten you're not going to get that shot. You're, they're going to fly almost identical, but those couple times the eagle is just not going to burn because it's still an eagle. Actually, no, no more good little pop rip with the Vela. Put this thing on the back to a high base tent, Brooke. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Want to try this rhythm? Because this one has a chance of going in the bag. I'm really liking this one. Because it just has a touch more late stability than the Neutron one. And then, flippy speedy. That was a weird skip. Also, that was really low. All right, let's go with some flex lines with the G star, the star, and then the instinct and the HD and the SD1. G star first. A little flex. I'm really looking at G star one. Kind of just already kind of straight. It's really nice. This one is not that. And I'll show you why. How fast that thing flat out and it does and it's flatter. So it's great. You'll get those like forced and they'll hold the dead straight line you want with those flat stable ones. But with the dome or gliding ones, you get more flights like they just kind of stay in the air. Let's see this rage stone you flex it just a little bit. Oh, that's buttery. Versus the oil rage too. The green thing is just a touch more stable. I think it's a touch deeper too. That, that might be why. Nice and off on that throw. Put the spice up there. That'll probably be the last four hands for today. Lack is feeling it just ever so slightly. Ah. 
about the same distance as a Hyzard Eagle, but sometimes you need it to be forced and it's still never to, to stay on that line. You want it to come back like that. So hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoy the rest of the backhand shots and let's switch you back over to 18. All right, I've narrowed it down to, well, one of the, one of the slots is still kind of in question but I'm just gonna run through the slots, what they are, why I have them, and you'll see the fairway drivers that are be going into my bag and that you will probably see a bunch of when I start to release those uh, series, Destination Disc Golf. Stay tuned for all of those. First one, the one that we all need is your overstable control fairway driver. For me, that is the Spice because I still don't really have something super, super overstable as far as a distance dri driver in my bag. I have, I have options if I need to stick something in there, but I just don't have space unless I'm playing a longer, more open course where it's gonna be more windy, in which case I might move some stuff around. But as far as the disc that's gonna be staying in my bag for almost the entire time, that is the Steady Ring Spike. up and oak stuff it's gonna go through stuff it's just gonna bite through all the wind and all the trees and just kind of get down the fairway and be about 300 350 feet away step down in speed is gonna be this last howl I have that green sea lion PD it's kind of a backup for this just because this one's a little bit easier to find and it's a green but during the winter the green one might come out to play some this last howl is Amazing, it flies so far for only being a 10 speed distance driver, control driver, and it's still got some pretty good over stability. You can pop it on some anhydrous, and then watch it. That's okay. I'm watching it but that's still like 375, 380. This is my flippy PD, which is almost distance driver distance. It's just the dome on this makes it sneaky glidey, and the weight on it makes it go sneaky far, and the slightly being used makes it super straight. And that's over 400. Down in speed, but not very much in stability. This is my eagle, star eagle. My beefcake, it's almost a seven feet firebird. Looks pretty straight, but it still has that really nice, reliable, but it's still overstable enough. I can torque it and it's gonna hold straight. If you throw it on hyzer, just hyzer. You torque it over on anhyzer just a tiny bit, it's just gonna hold the laser beam straight for so far. Next up in stability, or step down in stability, I guess, this is the Calvin Heimberg Vela. Kind of what you want. Really, really straight. Touch of hyzer, it'll flip up. Touch of man hyzer, it'll just hold it. It's like a perfect eagle, except it's brand new now. Then, for the big courses, this millet's going in the bag instead of my flippy eel. Just because I have replacements of these, I can just go get another one of these. I can't get another 15 year old beat in perfectly star eagle. So if I lose one, I'm not gonna be super bummed out. I have backups. this slot that I don't really know. Right now I mostly either throw the Vela and try to manipulate the angle or I try to throw the, the millet on a super steep hyzer. But that's this kind of in-between flippy stability where it's kind of flippy but it also has a little bit of stability. Essence versus rhythm. I'm gonna go with the one the one that's probably not likely is to make my bag all the way to the one most likely to make my bag, I think. You are not gonna go in 
So this white neutron ribbon, it's amazing. It's just a little squirrely. And then I was actually kind of liking this for backhand. So I think it would be the Meta Essence next. And then this Proton Soft Rhythm, it's really between that Lux Vapor Essence and this Proton Soft Rhythm. 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 Okay, so I think as far as what's gonna be as my fairway drivers in that slot, when, when I go do these bigger, more open courses, I think it's gonna be the Lux Vapor Essence. And then if I lose that, it's gonna be the Proton Soft Rhythm, and then the Meta Essence, and then the Neutron Soft Rhythm, or the Neutron Rhythm. All of them are phenomenal discs. All of them deserve their own time in the sun, but the Lux Vapor ones, brand new to me. Lux Vapor is my favorite plastic ever. And I mean, I kind of left it down to the last third to see kind of how they stack up, what compares and which one does best. And I think out of all of the ones on this last round, I think that Lux Vapor Essence went the furthest out of all of the fairway drivers that I just threw. So Lux Vapor Essence is it for now. That could change, and I'm gonna do, be doing a complete re tag re overhaul at the beginning of the season, come January, February stuff. So stay tuned for all of that. Hopefully, you enjoy content like this, and make sure to comment down below if you enjoy uh, this type of comment content, where it's me throwing, maybe me talking, some music over it, but it's mostly just watching throws happen. If you enjoy content like that, please make sure to comment that below and definitely leave a like if you want to see new stuff stick around and make sure you are subscribed until next time see you out on the course